today is the day that science fiction becomes reality. Today's video is a world's first. I promise you've never seen anything like this before. That's because today China is holding the world's first humanoid robot half marathon. It's a very, very important event. There's lots of domestic media here, lots of international media here. There's a lot of buzz around this because this is a world first. We're literally going to witness history today. So if you've ever watched a Terminator movie, you might have had visions of robots rising up and taking over. Well, they're not doing that. They're just running in a half marathon. Because this is the annual Beijing E-Town Marathon. 21 kilometers or 13.1 miles in length. And it's the first time ever that humans and humanoid robots are gonna be running together in a marathon. That's right, robots running in a marathon on two legs for the entire distance. It's finally happening, humans versus robots. So the marathon has just begun. You can see the people running over there. However, you can see that the humans are running on their own. <laughs> so they're separated from the robots. They're running in their own lane. The robots are gonna be running here, just in front of me, and that is in order to avoid collision. And here comes the first robot. Look, there it is. Oh wait, there's Tingle. That was very, very quick. I almost missed it. Hey, look at this. He's wearing some boxing gloves. You'll notice that the robots are staggered. They leave one minute after each other, so they're not all running together. So here comes the four robot. Even the runners are stopping to take photos of, of the robot as it goes past. I don't know why they're all wearing boxing gloves. So why are robots running in a half marathon? Well, the simple answer is because they can. Uh, robots have taken part in marathons before. Wow, look at that. That is incredible. Quadrupeds or four-legged robots have acted as pace setters. They provided updates to runners and helped them change their hydration strategy and running strategy. And last year, in 2024, a robot called Tiangong completed the last part of the Beijing Yidong Half Marathon, just to prove that robots can do it. Tiangong Ultra is running in today's marathon. And also, people love robots. They love watching robots, cheering them on from the side. And the other runners love it as well. A lot of the runners are taking photos of the robots as they run alongside them. So for humanoid robots to take part in this race, they have to have two arms and two legs. They have to resemble a human. I don't know if they need a head. But anyway, they need to be bipeds, so that means two legs running, no wheels. So C-3PO, yes. R2-D2, no. That one didn't have a head. He's coming over here. <laughs> oh. Come on, go forward. This is very, very, very bizarre. I'm literally walking alongside a robot. Now this robot is like walking on two legs. It's not running, it's walking. So this one's probably gonna take a while to finish. The robots are being given three hours and 30 minutes to complete their marathon. <laughs> so I've come to a stretch of the half marathon course slightly further on you can see the runners the human runners have arrived <laughs> running past in the background and lots of people have come to watch there are 10,000 people running today's half marathon 20 robots 10,000 people 20 robots so the half marathon started at 7 30 in the morning it is now about 8 30 and the first robot <laughs> has made its way around this is Tiangong ultra it's quite fast to be honest I'm gonna try and keep up with it now. Now, as you can see, there are two team members guiding the robot, and the robot can actually have a break uh, if it needs it, or if it needs to recharge its batteries, or in fact, if the robot needs to be swapped out, the team can swap it, but there is a time penalty. Um, it's quite fast. It's as fast as some runners. Wow, eh? It's also wearing some running shoes, which is great. Oh, it's too fast for me. 
too fast. Uh, I'll get, I'll, I'll see the next one. So about 15 minutes has passed since Tian Gong, the previous robot, ran past. And this was the second fastest robot, quite a lot slower than Tian Gong. I'm going to try and keep up with it now. I couldn't keep up with Tian Gong. That was running at about 10 or 12 kilometers per hour constantly. This one, as you can see, it's easy to keep up with. I can do this. I can do this. Oh God, it is a bit fast. Right, now the robots can be um, remotely controlled or they can be semi slash fully autonomous. What was very surprising was how fast Tian Gong was. Literally couldn't keep up with it. It was as fast as some runners. Now, as you can see, I, well, you probably can't see in the background, there are very few runners. I th in fact, I think someone has already completed the half marathon. But Tian Gong was keeping up with a lot of runners. So I'm going to pull a muscle soon. Oh, see, everyone's trying to run to keep up with it and get a photo. There's a reason why I didn't sign up for this marathon. I can't believe how fast they are, to be honest. I mean, look, I'm unfit, but you know, that's a constant speed they're traveling at. That's really, really, really impressive. Obviously, still not as fast as humans, but in about 10 years, I'd know, I reckon they'll be running with humans in the same lane. Unbelievable. Right, I'm gonna try and get to the finish line and hopefully catch up with the first place robot. So I've rushed over to the finish line. As you can see, there are loads of athletes who have just completed the race. Congratulations to them, well done. I don't know if the robots have completed the race yet. Hopefully I'm in time to catch one of them, or a couple of them, cross the line, cross the finishing line. Hello, come on, Ganja. Wow, we still got so much energy. So we just about got here in time to see Tian Gong. I personally didn't, but thankfully someone on, on this team did. So thank God for that. He completed the course in about two hours and 40 minutes, which is incredible, unbelievable, historical, in fact. It's now just hit three hours and 30. We're still waiting for the second one, and it's meant to be along shortly. So here it comes. This is the NR from Notix Robotics Company. Looks very different to, uh, to Tian Gong. Wow, wait. That is incredible. So we're literally witnessing history. I mean, I don't know if this counts because it's three hours 37 on the uh, clock. Maybe it does count. Right now, I'm not sure. But this is history. Woo! And now, in the distance, the third place robot is about to arrive. Just think about this. Three robots have completed a full half marathon, and one of them did it in 2 hours and 40. Unbelievable. Once again, witnessing history. Absolutely incredible. So you can see they're spraying the robot because it's overheating, because it's getting quite warm now. Jayo! Three robots, three robots running have completed this half marathon. It's, I'm, I'm lost for words, I'm lost for words. It's amazing. He's making his way to collect, presumably his medal. It's very cute. How long do you think it'll be before we have one of these living in our home? Well done, well done. This is gonna become a very normal scene in the future. Not only is China making leaps and bounds in the world of AI, but also robotics. As today has proven, the progress was literally running past our eyes. And it's gonna become a very normal scene because in August of this year, China is hosting the World Humanoid Robot Games, and at the end of that month, they're hosting the World Robot Conference and Expo. And presumably, Tiangong will be there. See you, mate.
can even get a chance to take a selfie.